guys, Matt Beck here from freesaloneducation.com. I've got a great video for you guys today. We're gonna be going through step-by-step -step how to cut a short shag haircut. It's a very popular haircut coming into 2022. So I know you guys are gonna like it. I know you're gonna be able to use it. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this haircut as we go through it. All the techniques I'm using, if you have questions, comment those as well. Uh, the key to that algorithm is your comments. So make sure you're letting me know what you think below, whether you like it, whether you don't like it, it, it doesn't matter it helps the algorithm no matter what so thank you guys so much for tuning into the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you get the notifications anytime I make a video I'm gonna be making a ton of videos coming up so thank you guys for joining me let's get started here we go all right guys, so we're gonna start off the cut by separating the hair at the division point. How do you find that? That's pretty simple. You look at the hairline and you draw a line straight vertical all the way up to that apex, the high point of the head, and that creates our separation from front and back. Uh, the way that we're gonna be working the layering on the top is pulling everything straight up uh, from the head shape, cutting it at 90 degrees. That's gonna create a nice open feel to the haircut. I'll explain that more a little bit later. Uh, the key here is to start Start your layers at the length that you're uh, looking to achieve. So uh, the benefit of starting it at the shortest point and really the shortest point of the layers is that you don't end up with a surprise at the end of, oh, I wish this layer was a little bit longer or I wish it was a little bit shorter or so on and so forth. So uh, really determining that length. I'm going nice and short in this haircut because we're doing a short shag. Um, so you're going to cut it shorter than you actually would think, but uh, the end result turns out to be pretty long. Um, the other thing is we're working with a traveling guide throughout the top. So I take that old section, which was directly in the center. And now you can see I'm pulling it to the new section. So we cut everything over top of the part of the current parting. So that's going to allow me to have that traveling guide. I work my way all the way over to that parietal ridge, which is the curvature of the head separating top and bottom. And then that's when I'm going to over direct everything straight up, which will give me that over direction and that length on the sides so you'll see as we're working through it um, kind of how that works but also look at that fringe that we're creating uh, it's kind of a nice bonus uh, within this cut as well um, the other great thing is we're going to stamp more of a fringe in later in this haircut so elevating the hair cutting layers in the fringe actually makes it easier because there's less density uh, less bulky feel in the fringe when I go to cut it later dry so uh, you get kind of the benefits all the way through. Now we're hitting that parietal ridge area. This is a nice overhead view. Notice that everything now comes straight up. So before I was pulling that guide to the new section, cutting the new section over the parting. And now I just, as I work my way down the side of the head, I just over direct everything straight up. That's gonna give me maximum layers and maximum length at the bottom because the over direction is so extreme. So just kind of working my way through that and I'll do the same exact thing on the opposite side. All right, so I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I wanted to let you guys know a couple things that we have going on at freesaloneducation.com. So uh, I did come out with a cutting system. So if you're confused by any of the terminology that I use, I did an eight haircut step-by-step -step digital haircutting system. It comes with a book uh, that talks about the terminology. You get the eight step-by-step -step videos, like I said, and then also you get a certificate to hang in your salon uh, as you complete the uh, digital cutting system. So uh, it's the best way to understand everything that I'm talking about in these videos. We make them quick here, uh, but there it's a little bit more of a study format. Uh, it's more organized and you've got eight basic haircuts that you can go through. Uh, from short to long to really understand uh, everything and how I think about haircutting, how I've learned over the years in cutting hair. I just organized it all together for you guys. So that's 49 bucks. It's available on Shop FSE, which is our online store. 
Also, we have a hair cutting razor called the Tri Razor. It's our patent pending designed razor. It's a three sided tool. It cuts three different percentages of hair. So it's a really fun kind of Swiss army knife of hair cutting. So if you love creating texture and doing razor cuts, uh, that's a really cool tool to check out. It's called the Tri Razor uh, by Free Salon Education. We also have brushes, tools, uh, scissors. My Matt Beck scissor just relaunched. So tons of stuff on there. If you guys uh, want to support the channel in that way, you can go on there and purchase your tools. So enough about all of that. Let's get back to the haircut. Here we go. All right, so now as we work into the back of the head, we're gonna be pivoting off that high point of the head. So really working kind of pie-shaped sections as I work through. Uh, also traveling guides. So uh, we're gonna cut it based on the center. We're gonna take our guideline from the top uh, that we previously cut already, and we're just gonna work a line parallel to the floor all the way through it. So what I wanna do is show you guys the angle right here, just working from that point as a guide and then drawing that, keep my finger angle parallel with the floor and just kind of work my way through it. You might see that I angle it a little bit more just to give myself a little more length. Um, that's really up to you guys. But then again, make sure you push that hair, uh, push that guideline, that previously cut hair over top of the section that you're gonna be cutting. That allows that traveling guide to work all the way through. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and just work our way um, to finish off the cut. All right, so you can see all the layers popping through on the cut. Love this haircut. Uh, now we're gonna go through, choose your favorite styling uh, product. And then I've got my favorite styling tools right here. This is the Ergo Diamond Head Brush. And then I go in with my Ergo uh, Round Brush, all available on Shop FSE, our website. And then I do a little bit of dry cutting once I get it dry. You'll also notice that I put some clips in there um, just to hold the hair in place when I spray it. Uh, and then I detail that fringe. And this is where you'll see that lack of density because I cut the layers in the fringe. So it makes it really, really simple to go through and just cut my line because the hair's not so bulky. If I just let the hair and tried to do this first, it would have been so thick and then I would have got a bulky line. It wouldn't have had that kind of trendy PC look to it. Uh, so you can see all the movement in this shag. I love the layering. I love the shape of it. Let me know what you think think in the comments, but there it is. All right, guys, so if you made it this far in the video, then I think that you probably liked the video. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Uh, let me know your thoughts on haircuts you wanna see in the future. Uh, I'm gonna be creating videos constantly, so I want your guys' ideas so that I can share those with you and how I would do it, how I would go about it, whether it's a cut or color, whatever it is, let me know and then I can create it for you. That would be super cool. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like these videos, share them with your friends in whatever platform you can, whatever one's your favorite, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, share the video, please. Uh, let's get it out there. Let's keep spreading the free salon education love. And remember, if you're trying to take your haircutting game to the next level and you really wanna understand my videos, everything that I say, the terminology that I talk about, uh, check out the free salon education haircutting system available on Shop FSE. And the last thing is, I just wanna say a huge thank you to you guys out there for being subscribers. Some of you guys have been subscribing for a very long time. Uh, I've been making these videos for almost eight years. Um, I even had somebody say that it was my thousandth video. Uh, they were keeping track. I wasn't even keeping track on my last one. Should have celebrated it more, but uh, it's because of you guys out there that I make these videos uh, and I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So thank you so much for the support. Uh, always having my back on these channels, waiting for the next video, uh, always commenting, always being a part of the community. Uh, the free salon education community to me uh, is the best community in the hair industry. And I really appreciate all of you guys. Uh, and again, the support. So thank you. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys on the next video. There's a few things that you have to understand about haircutting before you can really jump into doing haircuts. These are all things that I'm gonna teach you guys in the next eight haircuts. Truly understanding the why behind what you're doing in haircutting can make haircutting so much more fun and make you way more successful behind the chair.